So now let's look at acceleration. Now acceleration, just like velocity, is a physical quantity that helps us describe our motion of our object of interest. Now acceleration is a vector and it helps us describe how our velocity changes every second. Now the symbol for acceleration is a lowercase a with an arrow on top, signifying the fact that it's a vector. So it has both magnitude as well as direction. Now the formula for our acceleration is change in velocity divided by change in time. Now if you forget that acceleration is a vector, remember that velocity is a vector. And if you divide a vector by a scalar, because time is a scalar, you will always get a vector. So that's why uh, acceleration is a vector. Now, uh, the units of acceleration is meters per second second or meters per second square. And note that if our acceleration is zero, that means our object is moving with a constant velocity. So our magnitude, as well as direction of our velocity, stays the same. It's constant. So to gain more intuition about velocity, let's look at the following two examples. Suppose in example one, we have a car moving at 20 meters per second, and our car decides to stop, so our driver presses on our brake, and it takes them five seconds to go from 20 meters per second to zero meters per second. Now let's find our deceleration, which is simply acceleration in the reverse direction. To find our deceleration, we simply uh, subtract zero minus 20, because zero is our final velocity, and 20 meters per second is our initial velocity. And divide that by, uh, by our total time that it took for our car to go from our initial to final. And we get negative four meters per second second. Now what the negative means is deceleration. It's accelerating in the reverse direction. And this means that velocity and acceleration don't have to be in the same direction. In other words, velocity is going this way because our car is still traveling, but our acceleration is going in the reverse direction because we're pressing on the brakes. And that means velocity and acceleration don't always have to be in the same direction. So let's look at example two. Suppose now we have a car traveling in a circular path with a constant speed. So our magnitude of velocity stays the same. My question is the following. Is our car accelerating when it's traveling in this circle? And the answer is yes it is. And that's because as our car is traveling around in a circular path, its speed or its magnitude of velocity is not changing, but what is changing is our direction of velocity. In other words, at this point our car is traveling in this direction. Our velocity is in this direction. At this point our velocity points in this direction. At this point our velocity points in this direction and so on. In other words, because our velocity is in fact changing because of a change in direction, our acceleration is also changing because its direction of acceleration is changing.